Yo, what's up? This is Murphy. We're gonna do a, another Mario Maker video. Some Super Mario Maker. A couple weeks ago, there was the Friday Night Blind Kaizo race, and the level creator was Z7, making a all tail level. Gotta keep the tail the entire time. Powerful tail power by Z7, a 0.34% clear rate, uh, 31 out of over 9,000 clear. Let's do it. So the first room is great. You start out immediately with the tail. You gotta run on this conveyor to build up enough speed. It's easiest to duck. Give yourself a little more space. But the entire idea behind the level is to keep your P. In the top left, those little arrows with the P. As long as those are fully lit. Lion. Um, and each time you hop off of an enemy, it resets the P. So, there's plenty of things placed, and with barely enough time to get to them. Ooh, there it was. Oh, almost hit my head on those spikes. Definitely don't want to do that. Must have the tail to break through the wall at the end. So here's the main room. Doors go into each room. Each room having an indicator of what you are going to find inside. And plenty of leaves to go around. So like this first room. Just kind of futz around with this uh, cook shell here. Make sure everything gets out of your way. Build up a little speed, because we're going to need it up top. There's enough to get it up here. And as simple as just kicking it to take this bomb, it's going to get rid of that pile. Should clear up space. Muncher. So that we can continue forward. So first room, Cooper room, pretty easy stuff. We're gonna just continue down this right side line with the dry bones in another room that I like quite a bit. So here, you're going to alternate knocking these dry bones while flying out of the way of the flame. On the left hand side, we got a chain, uh, a chomp. Womp gonna break some blocks and eventually hit that pow. Which you'll see will knock that Koopa over here loose. We'll still need tail to fly up top. Let's go! Alright, play it safe. Normally you would just uh, toss it on the way up, but I want to make sure that I did not lose the P to fly me to the top. Could have been done much smoother, but I'll take the clear. Next on to the Piranha Room, where there are fire flowers everywhere. Should cause you to be able to fly your way out at the end. This room gave me quite a bit of trouble for no reason. And it's going to again. There it is. Okay. That was giving me trouble. Now, we just gotta avoid the fire flowers for the rest of the time. We need to duck. That's what those arrows are indicating. And just like that. Am I not close enough? Look at this.
Yay, next room. The pop room. This one requires a bit of timing. Take off. Kick this guy down. Normally he would bounce. Right off that. He would take him, throw him in here, release this other one. Reset with the dry bones. Fly up top to get to the next part. What happened in that time around? Fly, Mario. Fly better. Like that. Alright. Now this bomb. Kick up with the tail. Kick him forward. So that up there. Freed up room. Be able to get the muncher. And the bomb blew up the floor to get us further. Go up here. Take this guy. Ah, shit. Oh, no! You do that, except you don't get hit by the bomb. Because you need the tail right here. Trash. Drop here and grab the pile. We're gonna follow this shell. A little basket form here. No! Cut right through that dry bones. part that hadn't been seen yet just because I wanted to not miss it but after you hit that dry bone it's gotta hit the red shell. <clears throat> gotta hit the red shell. So that you can go get the pow. Hit the bullet to keep the pee going. Pow will get you through the muncher. Alright this room. Spiny shell. We're gonna run. Gonna be a tiny shell a spiny shell on a there. We're gonna kick it with our tail. We're gonna chase after it. Oh! Don't land. Barry's gonna move the spiny shell back. So we'll be able to use it again on our way out. Bam! Just like that. Up and over. Hit that little motherfucker right there. On. So another checkpoint with another coin. Little shell room. Jump in here, body that spring. The idea will be to go up top. Yeah! Hit it up there quickly. 
definitely uh, loft it up a few times before knocking it over, but went for a fastball on that one. And the final room is the boot spring room. Go in here, pick this boot up. Could still save ourselves. Can't still save ourselves. Follow the boot. Yeah, that's the one right there. So you gotta trigger the plomp and toss it onto the springs. But there's a wall there, so it's a very precise toss. If you throw it too late, you're gonna bounce or uh, it's not gonna make it throw it too early, you're gonna bounce the spring off the wall, it's not going to make it in. The final coin. Let's go through the key door. Little pipes. And the celebration room, where you can spend some time on a heal order. Or need it. And a little booty tail for the finish. Powerful tail power. Incredible level. I uh, gotta keep the tail from beginning to end. Hopefully one day we'll be able to do that um, in one run. Maybe go for uh, some sort of speed. But half hour is the time we're gonna get right now. So there's a couple Z7 levels, powerful tail power from the race a few weeks back, as well as the Adventure of Big Boy, which I played based on just the name alone.
uh, Z7, please do check him out. He's an incredible level maker as well as content creator here on YouTube. So I'll link his channel as well as the level codes for the couple that I took care of here. Um, and we're going to finish this off with how it went the first time around when I completed Powerful Tail Power. Uh, so let me know what you think. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next one.